Okay, so in this video I'm hoping to do a demo on pouring some of these plastics. And I'm also going to tell you guys a trick on making your plastics look way more professional, okay? So here's before I did this to my molds. And here's after. And all the oil is wiped off of this. So with ignore the different color, but um, they are the one that looks more professional is really shiny, and it also um, makes your molds non-stick, so you don't even need oil for them. Okay, so how you do that is after your molds have fully dried. I usually let mine dry for a week or so, then you put on some Mod Podge. You put three coats of that following the instructions on the back, so 15 minutes between coats. And when that dries, your molds are all really shiny. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this one you should be able to see. Like in the bottom of this craw, really shiny and completely non-stick. Just got to dry off some of these. So then you don't even need oil to when you uh, go to pour them. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about pouring them, and I'm going to show you guys my setup here. I've got a one cup measuring cup for smaller batches. Got a two cup measuring cup for larger batches. Got a metal spoon just to stir them with. Got my molds, of course. Got a pair of these gloves. I've got my uh, mask for so I don't inhale the smoke, and I've got the Caney Creek Molds Crystal Clear Plastic, the regular formula. I've got two pints of that. And these are ten dollars a pint. I've got a bunch of these glitters. I've got silver, black, green, red, gold, and blue. And then for um, dyes, I've got brown, blue smoke pearl, just a nice blue color. I've got red, black, yellow, green, uh, and white. And then I've just got some crystal clear worm oil. I got all my stuff at CaneyCreekMolds.com because I was ordering from there for the plastic, so I figured I may as well get it all in one place. And let's see, what else do I have? That's about it on oh, my microwave, too. I also have a microwave. I'll show you guys that right there. Brand new, just for pouring. Okay. And um, once I'm ready to pour, I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm ready to pour so we're gonna take my plastic here just shake it up real quick and I'm gonna go with half a cup so I'll pour that into the measuring cup here okay that's it for that one there. So now we will open the microwave, put our plastic all in, and turn it on for 30 seconds. Okay, and while we're doing that, I put gloves on, and normally I'd have a fan going and I'd have my mask on so I don't breathe in the smoke, but it'd be pretty hard to hear me with that going, so I'm not going to. Uh, use those for this video. Okay, we're going to get all of my molds set out. Or some of them anyways. Okay, we'll open this, and this won't be done yet. Just give it a quick stir. Okay. Put it in for another 30. And I've also got a uh, container of water off to the side here for putting my baits when baits in when they're done. 
Okay, we're going to need some yellow for this one. We're going to make a baby bass color. So we're going to take the yellow. Then take some green. Watermelon green. I'll need my worm oil. Um, I'll need salt. And I will need black glitter. Here. I will need green glitter. Right here. And I will also need just a touch of silver glitter. Okay. Take this out. And it's going to need a little more time, but give it a quick stir. Okay, back in it goes. Another 30 seconds. Okay, um, take the covers off of the glitters. Set these off to the side. And I've got a, uh, just a little um, spoon, plastic spoon, so that I can get glitter. Okay, plastic spoon right here. Okay, let's check it now. Okay, it's it's starting to get there. It's still not completely clear. Starting to thicken up now. Probably another 30 seconds. <laughs> this plastic is super clear when it dries. If you just pour a, just a plain old clear bait. I really like the plastic from Caney Creek Molds. Yeah, it's just CaneyCreekMolds.com if you want to buy that. If you want to buy the same plastic. I've never used any other plastic though, so I guess I don't have anything to compare it to. Okay. It's really clear. Or not not quite anymore, but it was when it was really warm. Let's put it in for another 10, 15 seconds or so. Okay. Stir it up. <coughs> okay, now it's it's pretty thin. So we'll add two drops of yellow. Seven drops of green. Okay, and we'll stir that up. That's my baby bass color. Okay, we will add just a touch of silver glitter. Just a little bit. Okay. A little bit to accent it. Okay, and we'll add just a touch of green. And then just a little bit of black. It might have added a little too much green. There's the color right there. Okay, so let's start pouring now. Set that off to the side here. Set it on a different mold. Okay. So we'll just start by pouring this reaper. 
and I forgot to add oil. So we'll just quick add that right now. Let's add three drops of oil. And I also forgot to add salt. So just quick add that too. Okay. Now we should be good. We'll put this in the microwave just to warm it back up to temperature. Just for 10 seconds or so. Peel off the excess there. We can we melt that down? Okay. Stir it up. Okay, we'll pour my beaver tail worm. Pour it in a little too thick on some of that. Pour my trailer. Okay, the craw. Okay, then on to the frogs over here. Okay, then the Creature bait thing that I haven't named yet. Just a little bit right down here. This tail, maybe. maybe. We can get it. Okay, well, he'll take a bunch of trimming too. And then, last but not least, the big six inch worm. If I have enough plastic, which I don't think I quite will. Okay, well, now we will let those dry. The Reaper's done, so we will just pull him out and put him into the water. So I'm sitting in the water for a little bit. The beaver tail worm is also done. Set him in the water. Just move the water over so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'll just pull the plastic off that set it in the measure in the yeah in the measuring cup plastic off the spoon there okay now we will take these out oh I'm not quite dry yet that one's really not dry yet that's a little warm there okay the it's the reaper that I didn't add any um any uh, oil too beforehand. He's not super dull, but he's he's not as shiny as the other ones. Just keep him in the water for a little bit longer. Just close up all my 
colors and everything. I'm waiting. So my colors, my glitters. Not sure why I forgot the or how I forgot the salt and oil because had it all written down right here, but oh well. Okay, so I've got them all pulled out of the water. They've cooled off enough so I can bag them. So just toss them in the bag here. And if I were to sell these, they'd come in a bag like this. I probably will start selling these soon, but just gotta work out the prices and everything yet. So thanks for watching. Um, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and tell me if you want to see more pouring videos. Thank you.